Well, the Oakland Athletics move to Las Vegas is currently going through some pretty big turmoil, at least according to a few different articles. $1.5 billion Las Vegas A's stadium proposal gets a shocking update. Now remember, they were looking for around $380 million to fund it. We're going to go through the entire funding package for Oakland, but people have already come out and said that they probably now will be in Sacramento for four years, not three. This would be terrible news for MLB. MLB is forced to build another uh, building right adjacent to the current AAA ballpark, Shutter Health Park, because, I mean, they're probably going to be there for around four years, and, and obviously it's a minor league facility. They're also building a new scoreboard and, and really upgrading it with a new turf there. That's got its own issues with how hot it gets in, in Sacramento. I talked about that in my last video I did on the A's, but let's take a look at this. At a presentation to the Las Vegas Stadium Authority on July 18th, the A's confirmed there is currently no financing in place for a proposed $1.5 billion ballpark in Vegas. That's according to reports. Quote, the A's don't have lenders who are actually lending. The A's are claiming multiple financial institutions are excited to lend the A's $300 million, but excitement isn't money. The $380 million in public funding everyone assumes is a done deal actually isn't. The A's have to spend $100 million to get the public money. If that $100 million doesn't exist, neither does the public funding. So it seems like that $380 million in public money, this is honestly based on some of the other deals we've seen, and you would think with John Fisher... If it's only $380 million from the public, that that's decent. Now, of course, they also need money. It's not just all Fisher's money in terms of after the $380 million. It's going to have to be another type of investor who, you know, there's some uh, people apparently excited to invest into this. I don't really know how baseball is going to play really in Vegas. I think it could be a catastrophic failure, honestly. It just depends. I know the NHL has worked out. The NBA is going there as well, but... It's a little bit different with MLB and the amount of games. You know, it's a crazy amount of games. There's possibly going to be low demand, especially if the A's are not very good their first few years. But that is four or five years away, so who knows? They're probably going to be developing their team in Sacramento. It later says the 90-page development agreement introduced Thursday defines the conditions that are needed in order for the $380 million in public funding to be used for the project, and the rate of that money will be infused into it which is relative to how quickly private money comes onto the project. The ballpark will be financed by a combination of up to $380 million in public funds, although the team forecasts the number will be around $350 million, along with $300 million in debt financing to be taken on by the A's and $850 million in equity from John Fisher's family. That is according to an executive. So the A's really need another investor here. I, I would imagine if they get that investor, obviously they're going to be spending the $100 million for the ballpark, and then that'll trigger the potentially $350 to $380 million in public money that supposedly will come along with this. I do wonder when it comes to that ballpark, it is a little bit surprising when it, you, know, you look at the renderings, there's really nothing around it. And I don't know if they don't plan on building any type of districts surrounding the area. I know Las Vegas is very likely to get an NBA campus where they plan on building a 5 to $10 billion campus along with an arena intertwined with possibly multiple hotels, a casino, a pool, things like that. I'm not sure if Fisher is going to do it. $1.5 billion for that stadium seems pretty realistic. It doesn't seem like the stadium is going to cost a billion and then they'll be able to spend $500 million on a development surrounding it. It seems like that's probably going to be the stadium cost, the Dome Stadium, that really, I mean, they've had some real issues with renderings in general. I mean, those renderings that we got were very lackluster. It was a, a almost a clownish scoreboard that was kind of curved and it had that just crazy window the exterior of it was pretty cool, but the interior, they did use kind of like a blend of AI or something, a very cheap design. I'm not exactly sure who they paid. You know, the Royals had something like that as well in their recent rendering. You could t you can tell by the way the fans look that there's some type of infusion of AI and, and just the lack of detail in terms of the stands. I'm not exactly sure what they use, but I think it's a combination of, of, of different programs. Either way, this is something that is going to have to be worked out by the Athletics. Now we've got players coming out. I know a relief pitcher for the Diamondbacks said this is ridiculous. It should never happen because this has certainly been a sloppy situation, to say the least. And now it's to the point where 
They're not even going from Oakland to Las Vegas. They're going to a minor league park, possibly for up to four years, so almost a half decade at a minor league ballpark that only seats 10,000. It is expandable to 14,000 if you include the standing room. But it just goes to show you how ridiculous it is this team possibly spending four years. Nowadays, that's unheard of. Now, certainly, when it comes to some of these expansion teams, when Montreal got a team, it was like seven years until Olympic Stadium was ready. When the Nationals got a team, it was three years they had to play at actually RFK Stadium. And now it looks like, but at least, you know, the capacity of RFK Stadium could certainly, you know, sit 40 to 50,000. This minor league ballpark is very very small, obviously. So it does have several different issues. And then on top of that, you do have basically no overhangs anywhere. And with 105 degree weather, it will be a big problem. So that is the current update. It seems like, you know, I would still say, I know they're making these articles, but really not, not a lot has changed in this situation. The thing is they've got time still. And you would think we would have heard something by now, some type of investment, some type of movement, but it just hasn't happened yet. But again, they still do have time. It's not like this is a crazy deadline, like, oh, they need the funding you know, two months from now. They're not even into to Sacramento, but they at some point they will have to get this funding because MLB is going to put pressure on them. If this situation can't work out, then MLB is going to maybe force Fisher to try and sell the team, possibly find someone that, that could buy the team. The problem with MLB relocation or expansion is, there's no ballparks that that are ready for a team because it's the uniqueness of MLB. Now with NBA and NHL, pretty much everyone has arenas. It's very easy in terms of relocation or expansion. But with MLB, they the, the city would basically always have to build a new stadium, which would take a minimum of two and a half, likely three plus years, whether it's Nashville getting a team, whether it's San Antonio or Austin That is the unique thing when it comes to MLB expansion. There's no ready-made MLB stadium in a city that doesn't currently have a team. So I would imagine the timeline on this MLB, there's not a lot of pressure right now, but at a certain point, there's going to be some pressure on Fisher to find someone uh, that can pay this, the rest of this $300 million that, that then they can spend the hundred million and that'll trigger the 350 million in public money that can be used for the stadium and, and for the relocation. But at some point, MLB is probably going to say, you know, it's now or never. This needs to happen because we can't sit here while you're in Sacramento for four or five, six years. That's just not an option. It's a non-starter. This is something that, you know, by next year or, you know, by the middle of 2025, it has to be worked out because if it's not, you have to get the stadium at least the construction underway because we know it's going to take two and a half, three years to build the thing. So if, if it's not underway by the middle of 2025 or 2026, it becomes a big, big problem. So we'll have to continue to follow this situation. Hopefully they release more detailed renderings. Uh, that would be nice to see. But the renderings have been a big problem with this project in general. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.